Heartstopper. What will happen in season 2? Heartstopper season 2 airs on August 3rd, and honestly, that's just way too long. In the meantime, season 1 is being rewatched, books are read, and different kinds of countdown devices are made. Until then, I would like to share some of my expectations for season 2. What will happen? How will the characters develop? Who are the new characters? And which moments from the graphic novels am I dying to see recreated? And a spoiler warning, content from the third graphic novel will be discussed in detail. In the date announcement video, Kit Connor says that the vibe of season 2 will be different. Fresh, it's a different vibe to uh, season 1. While season 1 was much about the insecurities in exploring one's identities and relationships, I believe season 2 will display a much more confident and safe Nick and Charlie. Season 1 ended with a second graphic novel where Nick and Charlie established themselves as boyfriends and where Nick came out as a bisexual to his mother. It is expected that season 2 picks up immediately after when the third graphic novel starts. According to Alice, the season will be about novel 3. Personally, I'm a bit surprised by that as I had expected parts of Novel 4 to be in too, at least up to the annual Menorca holiday of the Nelsons. The third novel starts at the end of May. Charlie tells his parents about the nature of his relationship with Nick, and coming out is a recurring theme throughout the novel. Nick accidentally comes out as a bisexual to his brother, and should he also come out to his father and all his friends. Photos from shooting in Paris might be from a meeting between Nick's father and Nick and Charlie, so I think Nick will come out to his father too. We will also see Nick and Charlie coming out as boyfriends to different friends. Coming out as a couple to Tao is a central part of the novel, but that plot is already played out in the season 1 of the Netflix adaptation. Outing and bullying, or the fear of getting bullied, are discussed a lot. It's also revealed that Tao might be the cause of Charlie being outed in the first place. I love to see if that is played out in the season. Paris Trip is a very central element of the novel. But before the Paris trip, it seems that Alice and Netflix are giving us a prom that does not exist in the novel. Perhaps we finally will find out actually how crap of a dancer Nick is. In Paris, the Paris squad is established, and together they go on a journey on discovering the different relationships. There will be a lot of making out, and will Nick and Charlie be able to sleep in the same bed? Eating disorders are also a topic in the book. Nick is starting to realize that Charlie might be having an eating disorder, and this leads to both some fainting and deeper conversations between our two lovers. Nick also comes out as a French speaker, to the huge surprise of everybody. I am very excited to see how Kit solves that task of speaking the language of love. Bonjour. And through the magic of a hickey, I hope that we get to see Nick and Charlie coming out to a smaller group at the party on the last night of Paris trip. I really hope we get to see some truth and dare, and first experiments with alcohol. If we are diving into the character storylines, we can start with Nick and Charlie. I expect we will be seeing them getting warmer and stronger emotions. They are more secure in another and get the desire for more closeness, if that's even possible. They start to talk about exploring their sexuality, but not being ready to go there yet. Their security leads them to opening up to the world as a couple, but also opening up to each other about topics like eating disorders. Tao and Al will hopefully share their first kiss. I think we'll see their relation blossom, and I think a lot of story will be added that are not a part of the novel. Yeah, there's just so many things that happen with Al this season that you're not ready for. I would say Al is different in the sense that she's more confident. She surrounds herself with people that elevate her. For Tara and Darcy, it is difficult to predict where their journey will go. In the novel, they are a loving couple. They are normally one step ahead of Nick and Charlie in their couple journey, and few hints are given. All we know is that they will face unforeseen challenges. Isaac will probably fill more or less the same role as Alan does in the novel. Isaac has been promised his own story arc. According to Alice, Isaac is aromantic asexual, and I can't wait to get on-screen representation of that. I'm quite sure it will also involve books. Lots of books. Hopefully Ayayi and the new teacher Farouk will get their storyline. They are the teachers of the Paris trip. We don't get to see much in the novel, but flirting and sleeping should happen. Imogen is not a part of the third novel, but she is confirmed as a part of the second season. In the first season, she was introduced to create some obstacles in Nick's identity journey. 
we might expect Imogen to start taking care of herself a bit more and put herself above boys. Harry seems to turn accepting of Nick and Charlie, and hopefully will show new sides of himself. Ben is not in the novel, but is in the season. I do not know what his part will be, but I'm quite confident he will continue on his villainous path. Mrs. Singh is also in, and I hope she gets to come out as a lesbian and show herself as a safe haven to Nick and especially Charlie, if he still is on the rugby team. He's on the team in the novel and off the team in the series. We also get to meet several new characters. Sahar Sahid, played by Lila Khan. In the novel she is introduced, but she doesn't have any events of her own. David Nelson, played by Jack Barton. He is Nick's evil big brother. He's an obnoxious, biphobic creature and probably will get Ben-like levels of villainy, if not even more. Stefan, played by Thibaut de Montalembert, is Nick's father. He is constantly inaccessible and we only see a picture of him in the novel. I think we'll meet him in the adaptation, but to what extent is unsure. Farouk, the new teacher, and Naomi and Felix, else new friends, will also join. There are also a couple of things I really would like to see. We really need a new Alice cameo. Perhaps she will be sitting at the Louvre? We have read that Nick loves to bake, but can we see that soon? Is prom cake a thing? And I like to imagine that these frames will be accurately remade in the series. Nick sleeping on Charlie. Nick speaking French. Nick catching Charlie. First night in the same bed. And Nick being more bold on Instagram when Charlie is being more unflattering. The season is difficult to predict as so much content is added that is not in the books. But I'm quite sure of one thing. I love it anyways because Alice is one hell of a writer.